get up it's saturday morning beautiful weekend beautiful here 58 degrees again high today somewhere in the upper 80s i think or so shows 84 for a high today and uh yeah that's not bad guys that's pretty good stuff so why wouldn't i go why would i go somewhere camping i can't think of a reason i'm camping <clears throat> right now i'm camping but anyway what else? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now, and right now went right on by. So enjoy your life while you can. What else? Never worry about what you cannot change. Think about it. And what else? Today, for your viewing pleasure, I did a video right after I completed the sale of my tiny home in Alamogordo, a driving video. And I don't know what else I talked about, but something. But it's a, it's on the agenda for today. Softball video as usual. But anyway, what else is going on around here? Uh, I don't have any plans really today. Uh, chill out, read books, take walks, uh, the, the usual stuff. And uh, anyway, Steve says, uh, Hell, Rusty, long time no see from Bikashi, Indonesia. All right, and just as just as that did that, then I got another screen. I don't, you know, they 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 keep up fixing stuff that don't doesn't need to be fixed. You know, Eileen Tool, the part of Florida I live in was has very sandy soil. Well, Eileen, you, you know that is the greatest news we've had this week. <laughs> she says I bought a small battery operated blower at Lowe's. I'm able to clean out all the sand in my garage in five minutes. Maybe a small one would help you keep your garage clean. So much easier than sweeping. Well, uh, so far, I we don't have any trees around here. And so far, it's just as clean as it can be. So thank you, though. That's a good idea. Anyway, James Micken, camping at home. Beautiful spot. Yeah, you got it. Good day, mate. Scotty Thompson, cool video live stream, Beer 30. Cool car tech video on the new cars. Nice shirt. Cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty. Oops, cool video talk. Thank you for your comments. Rocky Mountain Robert, new vehicle prices are outrageous these days. If I paid that price, I would want lifetime warranty on parts and repairs and road rides, roadside service from the dealership at no extra cost. No, I hear you. You're not going to get that, but nice thought. Uh, Linda M.W., good info. This is on the Casita Dometic three-way fridge power use. Linda says, good info. Thank you. Sadly, on propane, our fridge doesn't cool. I really appreciate you and your tips at the end. Fun, but so true. Thank you. K. Bob Hope, you could have traded your tiny home for a high box of hand. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I could have, but I didn't. Not. Anyway, Mike Turner, what a view. Yeah, it's, it's, that, yeah, that was the reading spot. It is a great view. I sit there and read and, uh, you know, it, the the world, the natural world, it has a lot of beauty that is continually changing. In other words, every morning the sunrise is a little different. Every evening the sunset is a little different. Every day, if I'm outside and there's a few clouds, all the cloud formations are different. You know, so if variety is the spice of life. The natural world has got it nailed, you know. A lot of variety out here, guys. The wind sock shows the wind to be from the east about maybe six miles an hour. Yeah, it's just barely about to this this angle like this. Yeah, just it's just it's open. Yeah, I love that wind sock. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Uh Brenda says, hi, Rusty. Hi, Brenda. This is uh, Blue Bee. Does Ford not want to sell new vehicles? All of them are the same. You can go to the Toyota dealership, same thing. Chevrolet, same thing. All of them. Uh, Scotty, nice shirt. Here we go with Scotty again. Good comment call. Thank you. Alvin Masso, great video. James Jackson. Hey, dude, that was on Beer 30, both of those. Here's one on the cars. King for a day says basically $1,000 to $2,000 car payment on most of these. 
what the heck are people doing for a living to afford those? Uh, who knows? <laughs> I don't have a clue. And this person here says, this is no name, says California fast food workers. Yeah, I think they raised the minimum wage out there to 20 bucks an hour, but you, know, you probably need that to live because gasoline's what, 450 a gallon or something? You know, hang on just a sec. Don Bram says, hello, West Virginia. All right, hello. Sue Palmer, hello, Sue. Hello from Valiant, Oklahoma. It would be nice for you to drop in and see us sometime. We have a great park for you to stay at. Well, I uh, may do that, Sue Palmer. Thank you. This is uh, where, the, where the lights left me a pat on the back there. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. Buy a beer on me. Buy a beer on me. Have a drink, have a drink, have a drink on me. Everybody have a drink on me. Remember that song? I used to sit and sing it and drink. Sherry Sparkle, thanks for shopping for us. Those prices are steep. By the way, my parents have had several escapes and really like them. But I understand they're closing out that model for the Bronco. Whatever. Yeah, that's something else that's new. Where's this guy here? Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I got that one. Here we go. Phyllis Smith, Mrs. Baird's, was purchased by Bimbo Company from Mexico. That doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, this is where the lights. Hi, Rusty. Steph from Palm Bay, Florida. Hello, Steph from Palm Bay, Florida. Thank you for the pat on the back. Jeff Erdman. Hey, Rusty and Rangers. Jeff Erdman reporting from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Well, thank you, Jeff. Well, what's the report? You're reporting, but you didn't report anything. I mean, thank you. <clears throat> I'm E88. Holy cow, no wonder people are living in vehicles, car or mortgage. Thanks, Rusty, for sharing. Yeah, I just happened to be there getting my oil changed, and the oil change was supposed to take 30 minutes. How long did it take? An hour and a half. Yeah. Roger Aldridge. Hello, Rusty from Florida. Yeah, I'm not sure how they do that on the oil changes. I'm not sure if, if they just have one technician dedicated to oil changes or how, but that's okay. I wasn't in a hurry. Uh, WP Wood, are you looking for real estate in Texas again? No, no. Doing it with nothing. Evening. Good, good morning. Wayman Samang, beer and bacon. I won't be buying a new car any time ever. These prices are totally unreal for the average person to afford. If smart people would stop buying them, the prices would collapse. Uh, well, therein lies the problem. Getting a lot of people to do the same thing is difficult. Ask politicians. Belinda Salinas, congratulations on the sale of your tiny home. Yeah, you'll hear more about that today. I have not seen an inside tour of your Class C. Therefore, I do not know how big your bathroom is. Are you really concerned about how big the bathroom is in an RV? I mean, yo, <laughs> you can put an adjustable plastic rod in the in the inside of your bath shower enclosure and hang your clothes from a regular clothes hanger. No, I got that. I got it figured out on, on drying the clothes. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, thank you. It's just a little, you know, it's got a shower and a toilet and a little sink. Sandy... K quilts. Your Corolla was prettier than that Mustang. Uh, it was a neat little car. That's true. But the, you know, Mustang, the name, and you know, people buy it because of the name. Will Hunt, 95K out the door, F250 diesel Lariat with roll up aluminum bed liner, spray something, uh, California prices. <clears throat> 475 horsepower, 1,050 pounds torque, 6.7 liter. Uh, to pull new 7,300-pound RV trailer. Supposed to come in next week after waiting five months. Ford truck sales down 8% year-to-date as prices so high. Yeah, it's just a sign of the times, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, I thought my, my uh, Transit Connect was expensive, but they've added, they, they've hung on to that three thousand dollar dealer markup i didn't pay it i refused and and they took it off cargo tom heard of outdoors hang out of 
heard of outdoors hang out of clothes. Duh. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't want to hang them outside here because it, it gets a little windy and dusty sometimes. Gigi says, I just looked at a Mustang 53,000 LOL. I literally laughed and walked away. I really don't know how people afford those high notes. Uh, they don't. <clears throat> but what they do, and I, this this goes all the way back to when I was in the auto business back in the early 70s, 1970s. Uh, we had a dealership out in East Texas, two of them actually, and uh, people bought on payments. That's it. They just wanted to know how much it was a month. You know, you, you could sell it to them for full retail as long as the payment fit their budget. And, and, and you could you could push them on that. They call it a high penny roll. What that meant was, uh, you know, the guy comes in and he wants his payments at, say, uh, $300, or $300 a month back then. And, uh, you know, you jungle around some numbers, go talk to the sales manager, walk around the building and stuff, come back and, and uh, you know, ha have the 300 scratched out and put three 330. And you show it to the guy and he said, man, I said 300 a month. And the wife says, yeah, we can't afford 330. And then you say, well, all you got to do is give up a soda water a day. You know, it's nothing to that. And then finally they you know, envision themselves driving this new car and they go for the $30 extra a month. Well, back then you could finance for 48 months. So four years at, uh, or 48 months at uh, $30 is like $1,500 you found just like that. That's just like finding money. You know, Larry Miller uh, and, and Vision, video, Vision Ford in Alamogordo has always been overpriced. We used to travel 90 miles south of there to purchase a vehicle where competitive prices exist, buy a Toyota and get what you pay for. Well, I don't know. I do, you, do, you do you, I guess. Wayne Smith, comment police deleted last one. Ain't it great? We living free over here. Yeah, we're, yeah but you know, YouTube has its own uh, uh, comment police, I guess. You know, they have their own word police, the algorithm. You know, they take, they'll, they'll delete whole videos. Angel Panucho, Panico or something like that. It's Mr. Mackey from South Park. That was on the travel trailer window AC installation back way back when. And uh, we'll do a few more here. Tom, get yourself a Mustang. No, I got what I, I need, I think. You get you one. Santa Claus, is it that time of the year again? In the spring of 1976, bought a brand new Ford XLT pickup, loaded, 53.50 out the door. Wow, have times changed? Well, you know that was 48 years ago. You know, at at, at five at five percent inflation, it would have gone up say five times. So that would make it uh, about 25,000. That's still low. Tom, what was the average salary back then? Most likely hasn't increased as much as the car. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. That was uh, true. The wages were lower. We'll do three more right quick. Majestic me. My very first thought when I saw the Mustang, Rusty bought himself a new Mustang with the money he got from selling his tiny house. No, not doing anything. Waldo, Rusty, there's two kinds of cement, the ones that is cracked and the ones that are going to crack. <laughs> I agree with that. Dogman Chronicles, uh, they are all pretty pricey. Thanks for the info. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Yeah, y'all, you have all of y'all have a good day. Uh, Kenneth Kilpatrick. Ford made a uh, 3.3 liter V6 F50 with a six-speed transmission from 2018 to 2020. Went to the prob problematic 10-speed in 2021. Then they dropped to 3.3. But anyway, it said it says he mentions it because it was extremely dependable. 25 miles per gallon on the highway, and uh, you can get one for 20 25,000 Auto Trader. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of uh, my videos. It's just a generic link that takes you to Amazon if you're going to buy something, and then you can buy whatever you want. doesn't cost you a penny. Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you, it's good for you. Uh, what else? Uh, take deep breaths, you know, breathe in Breathe in deep and then breathe out slowly. Relieve stress. Lowers your blood pressure. Very good. Do that several times a day. And then stretch. 
you know, swivel, walk, 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 exercise your body once or twice every single day. You'll never regret that. And then what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, you know, all that stuff. So, you know, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the next video, which is about me selling my tiny home and moving on down the road. Adios, guys. Carry on. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.